Good morning, lovelies. Zoe Two Dots here with another WBE Catch These Hands. We're going in for some more competitive doubles battles in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So today our competitor is going to be Poise or Dylan. Links as always for competitors and who I'm versing or who I have versed will be in the description down below if you want to check out their side of things. But this is going to be an interesting one because both Poise and I have not had a win. We are both just these like little underdogs coming in here, like throwing hands at the world champions and things like that. Uh, so I feel like this is probably going to be the closest evenly matched battle that I will have uh, in this comp, besides versing like me and reversal. I believe Poise is still very, very familiar with main series stuff. Uh, however, he has mentioned that this is kind of his first foray into competitive. I don't know if that is competitive overall or just competitive for the WBE, but I, I think this is, I think this kind of might be like a, a more hopefully even playing field for both of us. We've both been learning quite a lot each match um, and making really, really great improvements. So I'm in no way underestimating uh, his skill because watching his videos, you can clearly see each week learning more and more and more as have I. I mean, looking back to the first week when I was like, didn't know why, why like grassy terrain and things all were affecting my Pokemon. And now I know all of these things. So let's have a quick peep at my team. Let's talk over Poise's team really, really quickly. Also, hey, got Sarood, by the way, legit. Very cool looking dude. I, he keeps scaring me every time I walk around the, the wild area. So for my team that I'm bringing this week, you can see another new member of the team is Keen, is our little Mime Junior. Uh, you might be thinking a bit of a weird pick, but we've got some some fun stuff prepared for this one. We're going to have the Torkoal coming in again, my little bad boy. We've got Shiftry again. We have got Chandelure uh, making another appearance. Appleton, our thick lad, and we've got the Mimi Q. He's been doing a lot of breeding and raiding and everything else for all of these ones for different moves and different IV combos and things like that. So over on Poise's team, uh, he has got G-Max Inteleon, uh, so big watery sniper, which I'll keep our eyes out for. Uh, Chinchina, which we're kind of thinking he probably won't bring. Uh, Alolan Persian, Kabalian, Rapidash, Meowstic Male, Miltank, Darmanitan, um, Galarian Darmanitan. Uh, Rillaboom, Slurpuff, and Girder. So from what we've been practicing and prepping for, uh, we've been kind of prepping for most likely uh, the Persian Kabalian lead, where Kabalian goes like big boy G-Max straight away and gets kind of like extra boost to its ability. Uh, and more than likely his Persian using beat up into the Kabalian. So rather than attacking me, attacking his own Kabalian to boost Kabalian's stats. So it's kind of like a cheeky thing you can do in doubles with certain pairings, rather than attacking your enemy, you attack your friend to, uh, with a really, really weak attack to kind of boost other stats and abilities that it has. So to counteract that, we're going to be bringing on in uh, the Shiftry Chandelure lead. So Shiftry here, we're going to go for the good old fashioned protect straight off, if, this, if it is the lead that he like does have that. Uh, and then we've got Chandelure with Burning Jealousy. So Burning Jealousy has a really cool thing where it's, uh, if you've had Basically, if you've had your stats boosted that turn, uh, you're going to get a nice big burn. So this means if if his G-Max goes off to get like a speed boost, this is going to hit that nice and hard. Uh, and that speed boost would also apply to the Persian. Uh, even if he didn't go G-Max, the beat up from the Persian onto the Kabalian, this is going to burn the Kabalian. Uh, and actually something I didn't ever know in Pokemon uh, was that the burn status actually halves physical attacks. I literally never knew that. I've been playing this game for 20 something years. Uh, I always just thought that burn was like, you give them a little sizzle and then at the end of each turn, they, take, they, lose, they lose a little bit of health, lose a bit of health. I didn't know that it actually crippled a lot of physical attacks or all physical attacks, which is uh, massive. That was kind of like a mind explosion moment for me. So again, thank you to Wits who has been coaching me, helping me with my spreads or basically doing, doing the spreads, helping me with the EVs every single week, helping me practice uh, and learn so much more each each week. I appreciate you so much. We've also got the thick apple in the back with a bit of extra coverage. Then Miku also will have the ability to burn the things with the Will-O-Wisp. So basically his team is very susceptible to being burnt. Uh, we've also got the Destiny Bond for a cheeky, like, if they kill me, 
I take it down with me sort of thing. Shendalor can also set Trick Room. Our Mime Junior can set Trick Room. It can ally switch to kind of cheeky swap spots with my friend uh, and Brick Break to get rid of Meowstic's light screens uh, if he is running light screen on the Meowstic. Can also fake out if needed. And we've got Torkoal for the Sun. Again, a lot of burning things happening here. Got the Protect to keep us safe. Uh, but ideally, Torkoal is here to kind of boost um, Shiftry in the sun to get it faster, to get it just going, getting the zoomies, solar blade going off without having to take two turns, all that kind of jazz. So we've kind of got two modes for this thing. We've got the sun mode and we've got the trick room mode. We're going to be starting sun mode and seeing how that goes. We're going to be crossing our fingers here. This has definitely still got some things we need to keep our eye out for. So basically if this, if this first turn play doesn't turn out how we expect, or if he brings a different lead or something like that, um, it's going to shake up what's going on. So this is very, this is some very fingers crossed stuff going on here. Again, he could be building his team entirely differently. This is just like a educated guess on how it might be set up. So yeah, wish us luck. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling like comfortable and synergistic in my team this week. Ooh, we'll see how we go. Oh, Kido, can we set a couple of little back and forth there, getting the team, uh, the rule set to work rather. I think we had it set to the wrong rules, but we've, we've figured it out. Uh, so this is my team I'm rolling with. I've got the Mime Junior, the Torky, yep, Shiftry, Shandy, Apple, Mimi. Yes. Locking it in and let's see. Let's see what we can see. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> Wits, what did we say? He's like, he's not going to bring the Chinchino. And there it is. Damn it. There it is. Look, okay, I'm still rolling the same. The Slurpuff. Okay. I guess he figured big threats from my fiery boys. So, no Alolan Persian. Well then, I figure the is probably going to be doing some similar strats. No Galarian Diamantan, no Mill Tank. Okay, so the Mill Tank, that was going to be a potential pest as well. Huh, okay. I think we still stick with the original plan though. Because the Rapidash, yeah. So we go Shiftry, Shandy, uh, Junior in the back. Because we still have the issues with the light screen with the Meowstic Male. And our Sunboy Torkoal as well. Okay. Let's go, boys. Let's do it. I'm going to try and take notes during this as well. But I'm going to, you know, not try and confuse myself too much with this. Okay. Chinchino and Meowstick is the lead. Okay, okay, okay. So I reckon there's gonna be some light screen shenanigans getting set up. This is not like the simulations at all. <laughs> Every time, man. Every time. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. I feel like this is going to be kind of silly. I feel like we almost go for just a double protect and see what he sets up. Uh, hmm. Well, we can, I mean, the Burning Jealousy is not going to do anything though to them. And that's, I mean, they might boost their stats first go. This is not what we prepared for, but he might swap something out as well. I just want to see what he's setting up because we have got Mind Junior to get rid of the light screen. So we might. Quick guard. We're going to protect both of them. Okay. So Burning Jealousy will still hit them for a bit of something something. Uh, but they didn't have a boost so they're not going to get burnt from that. I don't know if my Junior will do anything for their... Oh, see, this is going to be... He's going to have the Kabalion in the back, though, because I don't want to waste... I don't want to go... I don't want to go G-Max or anything straight away. I think, from what I remember from Wit saying, that Chinchino can become quite a pest. So we might want to be dealing with that as well pretty quick. He could be swapping these guys out as well pretty quick, too. Rock Blast. Not too much. A bit more. Crit. Rude. Stop it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rude. 
Rude, rude, rude. Probably should have swapped Shandy out actually for the um Dark Pulse coming in. It's not gonna do too much. Yeah, Meowstic can't hurt my team, really, unless he's got some weird moves. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bring out the sun. To make my shift really fast. I should have still swapped the um, chandelier. I shouldn't have hit. I think I should have swapped him out straight away, to be honest. This will make my shift re faster, I believe, than most of what he's got here. His Chinchino is pretty darn fast, though. <sighs> Do I go big boy? I can go big boy, solar blade, and set the... I might protect again on Shiftry. Mm, and Torkoal's gonna go last. I could swap him straight back out for the mime though. I might actually do that. It's gonna be really, really cheeky and do a couple of quick swaps here because we didn't really practice for this combo set. So I'm just gonna try and almost not stall him out, but confuse him out a little bit because I don't want to lose my torque off straight up either. Oh, okay. Rain Dance, which means Inteleon's coming. Possibly. Or he just wants to get rid of my son. Okay. What are you doing? Is he just trying to get rid of my son or is he just trying to make sure that I couldn't solar blade? That's really interesting. This is so weird. We're kind of like in this weird stasis of like, what are we doing? Um, okay, I might... I think we need to start getting big boy. I don't want to... We've already lost Chandelure for that burn extra... Like that burn thing. <sighs> I'm trying to get rid of the Chinchino and then I'm going to go ally switch. And swap spots with the um, Shiftry because I think Shiftry here is the biggest threat. Gosh, this is such a weird start. I hope I can swap with the G-Max. That'd be awkward if I can't. They did. Good. And Junior can soak the hits, thankfully. Come on. Tank it. Good, good, good. <laughs> good, good little tank. Let's get rid of that Chinchino. Get him gone. Bye-bye, son. Boost our attack. So my Shift Tree's attack is at least boosted. And we can always swap back in the... Ma the call for the sun. So let's see what he brings out. Dark's going to do nothing to shift tree. Okay. We're still in a good... I feel okay. Potentially here. Okay, so this might be that we do... Oh, Raptor to dash. Hello. How are we doing? Let's see... Do we swap back out for the sun? That will also boost the Rapidash though. I'm thinking we ally switch again. Again, Meowstic can't really do anything to this team. Max Quake on the Rapidash. Because if we bring the sun back out, it's going to... Hmm. We'll see. We will see. Now we just have to kind of bet on if he's going to take the gamble, if he thinks I'm going to do ally switch again or not. Also, his rapid dash is in the rain, so I don't know if that's... that. Surely that can't help him, right? And this has got... Oh, okay, Max Ooze. Woo! Go, Junior! Tank the Max! Go, son! 
Okay, special attack rose. Special attack rose. Max Quake, let's go, come on. Just, just delete him off the map. Oh, so close. So close. Ooh, special defense up. Double targeted, the junior's down. So Torkoal has to come out here, which means Sun will come out. And that should make me faster than his Rapidash. Should. But if he does Rain Dance again, that's going to be really bloody pesky. Right? Right. He can, he can Rain Dance and kind of screw this up, right? Could ma even max overgrowth into the Rapidash and that will start healing for my Torkoal. Or max guard. I mean, shiftry has got heaps of health. I think we max... I feel like we max overgrowth so I can be healing myself. Hmm... Might not be the best, but we'll see. And then uh, we go erupt. Oh no, because it's going to boost the. Whoopsies. I was had not enough time there. I should have protected on my Torkoal, I think. That was just a bit of an impulse move on my part. Yeah, there goes the rain again. Max ooze onto me. Good tank, Shifri. Good job. Good job. Good job. Attack will rise. The only issue is with doing the grassy train, it will heal him as well. There we go. That's finally my weakness policy went off. I could have also done the brick break into my own shift range. Remember that as well to like take off my own weakness policy. Okay. Get rid of that. Again, because Meowstic is not an issue. Really, Meowstic can't do anything to us. So I'd like to not hit that at all. Not focus the Meowstic as much as I love that beautiful golden cat. Dude, I shiny hunted for female Meowstic for so, so long. Shiny Esper, so long. Corruption. Do a little something something. So now I feel like he's probably gonna have Inteleon, right? See this weather, this watery goodness happening. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think we need to... Pr no, we need to... It's gonna be a two turn. Can we risk... I mean, he's still got... Risk a two turn on the shift tree. I think we can. But he could protect on the next turn. I'm gonna protect. And I'm going to protect. <laughs> I wanna see what's happening here. I'm gonna double protect. I wanna see what's going on. Oh, we're, we're all protecting here. Okay. Well, it means we can't all... Oh, that would have been so satisfying if I had gone for that. Oh, then it would have forced him to double risk. Dang it. Okay. We get there a little bit of heal, though. Oh, that would have been so satisfying. would have beamed the hell out of him. Now I guess we just have to risk it, right? Crap. Do I risk the double protect on me, though? <sighs> Do I risk the double to protect on Torkoal? Because he's... Oh, is he going to be targeting the shift tree, though? Both are kind of an issue, but the rain's just kind of hanging about. I'm going to risk it, I think. 
This could be... It failed, okay. Yeah, probably should have just gone for a move. Oof. Shifty, my lad, and I got frozen. No, no. Okay, so he's probably got life orb on the Intellion because he just lost some health as well. Dang, that was a misplay. If I had charged up that Solar Blade that turn, should have gone with my guts, man. Should have gone with my guts. What move was that just before that the Miastic had? Rain, grassy terrain. Dude, my poor little dude. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, 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 that, no, my bloody. I mean, I'm gonna get deleted anyway. Joy-Con drift, man. That bloody drift. That was not what we were expecting. Okay, we were expecting the Cabalion. Okay, okay, okay. Cheeky plays, I see it. I see it. Damn, nice one. Okay, I need to reassess. Okay, so I was going... Oh, with that Shandy, I really should have swapped that out ASAP. Okay. So our sun is not going to be doing quite well with um, this. So I think we do have to make the change up for our trick room set. Keeping in mind that we haven't seen if he's got um, imprison. And then the risk is that he goes for the he goes for the Cabalion. He doesn't, he doesn't have the Cabalion. Why did in my brain I thought that he had the Cabalion on his team? Now I just feel like an absolute goose. Um, our trick room set here. So Mimi, Talk, Apple, and Shift in the back. Because Shiftry can still... Shiftry... Dealing with the Inteleon. Can. The Rapidash, yeah, can deal with the Rapidash with the Dig. Okay. Oh, come on. I was feeling so good before this match as well. I was feeling so, so good. All of our practice matches, we had like these cool strats prepped and then it's every week they don't bring what we prepped for. It's okay. Okay, I need to be faster than him because he's given his, his Chinchino and stuff. I've got the zoomies. I need to get my hits off first. Okay. I kind of think they might bring the Rillaboom and stuff this time though. Same lead. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Does he have Imprison? Does he have Imprison for the trick... Locking me out of Trick Room? I think... Because he has Prankster, he gets to kind of like priority first. If he imprisons my Trick Room, that's going to kind of suck. But... I think we need to go for it. I think we need to go for it. Uh, and protect on the talk. Used rain dance. Sick. Thank you. That's really fantastic. I appreciate what you've done for me here. Which means you haven't you- Oh, what, what if it does this? Ah, no, don't do this! Please let me have your trick room. It's gonna break my disguise. Okay. That's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, flinched! No! I'm pretty sure if I get hit now, I, this is not good for my Mimi. Oh, are you serious? Do I still... Now, I, I actually personally don't know what to do. I, do. I think, do I still go for Trick Room or is that not a good? My boys are slow. I need to get Torkoal out of here as well before he gets hurt, I think. I'm going to have to shift in because I know that they... I know they don't have any... They've got Dark. That's not going to hurt my... 
Shiftery. And he's got Rock. And that's gonna be like nothing, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if he's gonna double target the Mimi. Yeah, probably. No? Oh, fantastic. Good swap on my part there. Okay, yes, Trick Room. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna bounce the Mimi. Oh. I might. I wonder if they could kill my Mimi if I go for the Destiny Bond. Do we reveal that? I feel like we could. If he's gonna go again for it, we Destiny Bond on the Mimi and take someone down with us. I don't know if it's low enough yet, but it could. And then I'm gonna. I'll protect on the shift. Oh, it's gonna waste the turn of Trick Room though. Mm. A low kick on the Chinchino, and then I'm gonna swap him out. I'm gonna kind of hope that um. Yeah, I'm gonna hope that he. Ooh. Yes, Destiny Bond, cool. And I please let him be using. Please let the Chinchino be attacking him, please. No! Oh, dang it! <laughs> dang it! Dang it, dang it. Oh, that move, man. That could have been a bad play. I think I should have swapped Shift out straight away for one of the slow boys. Hmm. So hard to get your head back around a different strat when you've had one different thing in mind for quite a while. Uh, let's get rid of that rain, I think. So the thing here is Destiny Bond will last until the end of the next turn. So if he thinks that I'm going to be faster, if I press Trick Room again, this is the gamble. This is the gamble though. They might not even try and... I reckon we save the Mimi. I don't think they're going to try and kill the Mimi now with the Destiny Bond. I think it's too big of a gamble that I just turn off my own Trick Room. I don't know. I think it's too big of a gamble. But, I th but really, the thing is, you would... Okay, I think that's too... I think it's too risky. Uh, or not. Do we just stick with it? I think we have to commit. Commit, commit, commit. That's what we practiced for. Uh, eruption. Oh, with the bloody rain. I'm so sick of this rain. <laughs> please, 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 please. Yes, come on. Take it down. Yes, we committed. Get dead, Chinchino. Okay, this is a minor, this is a minor, a minor victory. Oh, okay, so that worked because Trick Room goes last. So it means that we put ourselves at the end of the priority, even though we would have been faster than Chinchino if we went for like a, a whatever move. This isn't the biggest victory, but it's, it's something. It's something. And I haven't big boyed yet, so I mean, let's see what, what happens here. Hey, Inteleon, how you doing, baby? What's up? What's up? Time to big boy, I think. Ah, uh, so. Big boy, we can give ourselves the, um, give ourselves the defense boost to start. That'd be kind of nice. Max Sweetness, though, will kind of give a nice big tear through his team, so I think that's probably the Oh, actually, let's go with the max. Oh, 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 max, I said. I'm going to go max. Yeah, go with max sweetness. Don't be silly. Uh, and then protect on the... Oh, it's a waste of trick room. There's only three seconds left. It is a bit of a waste of trick room turn. 
but I think Inteleon's probably going to go. And we could Blizzard because it'll hit both of us. But I really don't want to risk losing the Torkoal. Plus it's in the rain, which isn't helping. He's going to go big as well. Are you prepared to get down with the thickness that is my apple, though? Are you ready for the thickness? Team Thick. I hope some snip snops, though. Mm. Okay. Apple's going to go first. Oz. Nice little chunk. Let the healing commence. Duh, honey. Max hail. I've got thick fat, so I will be able to take less damage from this. It's still gonna hurt, but. Okay. Ooh, it started to hail. I'm still going to go faster for another few turns, I'm pretty sure. How many turns we got left? Uh, info. Trick Room. One turn left for Trick Room. So I think what we do here is we go for uh, the Max... Oh, we go Max Wormwind and lower its attack. It's going to die anyway. Uh, I think we go this one and raise our special defense. Um, even though... Obviously, the grassy would be better. I think that's still going to be better for us. Um, and eruption, or eruption is at least going to hit both. Okay. Max guard. Figured as much. That's good because that means we're not getting snipped. Do a bit of chunk on the meow stick. Quake. Oh wait, did we not get the... Is it only a chance to get the... Oh, is it only if it hits that you get... Mmm, 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 mmm. I wanted that boost, boy. That's unfortunate. Do we stall out his... Oh, because we're not going to go first now. Because the hell got rid of the... Okay, the hell got rid of the grassy terrain. Okay, I'm a goose. I'm a goose. I mean, look, if we survive... Who's the bigger threat to him? We should take down the meow stick. If we don't die, he has to pick one of us. The Meowstic does nothing to us, but he has to pick one of us to target. I'm guessing it's going to be... Mm. Okay. I thought that the G-Max would go through... I guess it doesn't go through G-Protect. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh my god, he's hanging on! With like one HP, I can't see because my TV screen crops this really weirdly. Am I on one HP? Oh my lord. Am I on one HP? I, I can't even see it because of the stupid way that it crops this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're coming back for round two. Plus, please. <laughs> no apple. <laughs> oh no. My baby apple. Oh my god, is there any way? I mean, is there any way? I don't know. Um, if, he's, if he has Rillaboom, that would be fantastic, I think. Oh. Slurpuff. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what your strat is, but you're adorable and I love you. Um... Is it just going to hit me? 
Oh my gosh. Are we just going to be like protecting back and forth? No, don't make this a, a hail stall out. This is going to be ridiculous if we do that. Um, oh gosh. He can't protect again. I could protect, but then it's going to be back and forth. Insanity. Absolute insanity. I don't know where the break point is for this doing less damage. Like, I don't know where the break point is for me, my lower HP being less effective. Dazzling Gleam. Tunk. Oof. Not a lot, hey. The hail stopped. This is so ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why every week? We prepare. We prepare so well. And then it just... It's never the team that we expect. I swear if he protects himself, I'm going to be so annoyed. Uh, oh god. This is hilarious. GG's, dude. I wish y'all could see the prep battles, man. Get some spice in there. That's wild. I mean, we got this is the best we've done. We got down to one to one. One to one. Holy dooly. Biggest, biggest of thank yous to Poise. Absolute champion. Uh, congrats on your first win, dude, as well. Hell yes. Look, it's okay. I didn't want to win this one because I really want to get my first win against Reversal. I think that'll be very satisfying and make him very upset. No, but for real, that was that was fantastic. Um, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that more than likely Poise knew that my Sun team would tear through the Cabalia and it would tear through, um, you know, the Rillaboom and things like that. So they prepped heavy rain, which countered the crap out of me. Uh, the Minch, uh, the Meowstic and the Chinchino as well. I just personally hadn't prepared any battles against Chinchino, so I wasn't aware that it had like the rock moves and stuff. Uh, but the Meowstic. Really, really good, cheeky, cheeky, kind of like, kind of stalling things out. So even though it didn't have any like attacks that were going to kill me, um, it was still really essential in setting up that range, just being so oppressive for my son. Every single time the sun came out, he turned it off with the rain. So um, fantastic plays by Poise. Please go check out his side of the battle as well, because I think for both of us, this was kind of like, you know, this is the one for both of us that were like, you know, it could go either way. Um, so definitely go check out his videos and see how he prepped against my team because that's great ways to learn as well. Um, because, you know, in our head, we're like, yeah, this is going to be so good, so good, so good. And then clearly the opponent going, I know that's going to be so good. How do I prep against what's going to hurt me? Um, so yeah, fantastic battles. So close at the end there. I think if I, oh, if I had gotten, if I didn't double protect, if I had just gone for that solar blade on that other battle, that would have been some sneaky, sneaky stuff. Can't believe that Apple held on with one HP as well. That was hilarious. Um, so at least we brought it closer to a 1-1, one, one. Uh, like 1-1, one, one, like for who was alive still. Uh, but overall loss for this one, but that's A-OK. -okay. Next week, next week's the week. And I can't complain. Uh, I joined in this to learn uh, and to use Pokemon that I like and to just learn how to do VGC, which I have learnt so, so much, um, which has been amazing. As always, lovelies, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.